Hey guys, what's up? I want to talk to you about an ACR, automatic compression release. Uh, the serial number on this is 5125911. If you haven't block stamped this serial number, um, or between the 9000 and down, um, basically your ones, your two, let's see, one, two, three, there's a thousand. 5 mil. So all your old blocks before 9, 9 million on serial number, this will apply to it. Hard charity acts like you got a Hemi V8 board out inside your co uh, inside your frame. Okay. Basically you can see, take your carburetor off, take your head off, your breather off, make sure your valves are adjusted, take off your uh, key M gear cover, what we want to do, there's a tab down in here in this hole. I don't know if I can get you guys to see what I see. Maybe if I kick you guys sideways. Uh -huh. So if you guys can see what I can see. that tab. See that tab I'm pointing at? That's the tab you want to adjust. Alright. And what you guys need to do You see I got the piston top dead center and both valves are closed. Let me see if I can get you guys in even a little closer than that. Okay. Top dead center, both valves closed. Turn your motor backwards. Just like this. And wait for that valve about two thirds of the way up. Okay. Now what we need to do get a dial indicator. Okay. You want to set it between 32 to 42. So I'm going to go split the difference at about 35, 36. Right around there. Okay, I don't have a mag base and I can't find my mag base, so we're going to have to do it this way. Okay. Close enough. Now rotate your motor clockwise or 
turn the motor toward turn the motor going if the on the flywheel turn it counterclockwise instead of clockwise there you go and let's look at how much lift we have Huh, well I guess that ain't gonna work. Hmm. All right, guys, fix the fixed it. I got a mag base now. All right, now what you want to do? Since we got the prom prom child taken care of. Okay. All right. Now let's rotate the motor until the ACR kicks in. Okay. So the ACR kicks in now. So we've roughly got almost 15 thou left on the ACR. All right, now let's back the AC, let's back that off. All right, now what we need to do is go zoom you guys down here. Okay, in that hole. That tab you you want to bend that tab up just a scotch. Um, let me rotate this engine okay, clockwise. Okay. You guys see that tab? Okay, we just want to Okay, I bent that tab up oh, so let's Move you guys back up here So you guys can see Seven. There you go. About twenty-seven thou. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now let me move you guys back down. Get this. Squeeze in here again. up there now, rotate the engine back to you. as 
So we're about 50 now. So. So we want to tap this valve down. Now let's rotate this back. So we got about 45 thou. So she's a little out. Alright. Yeah, uh, get in there. That's right at 40 now.
Well, I got about 40 or 39 though on that. Shooting for 35, 36. Thirty-seven. There it is, guys. About 35 and a half thou, almost 36 thou. I'm happy with that. Thirty-five and a half to thirty-six L. I'm happy with that. All right. Just to prove, we get guys in the dead center. Sitting at zero, and let's rotate the motor and bring her back up to. That's 35 and a half, almost 36 on it. Alright. Catch you guys later. Hope you like it. Do. Thumbs it up. Thumbs up the video. Comment below. Maybe something you can tell me different. Alright, catch you later. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Um, I want to do a cold start on this after I fix the ACR. The ACR was fixed before Christmas, so it's been about a month. It's been sitting in this garage, it hasn't been started. If you guys can't obviously tell, there's crap all over the rider. So I want to explain something to you guys. The ACR can only be fixed on old generation of the Kohler, the short blocks or the small blocks. The big block Kohlers, which is in modern 10, 12, 14s. All had, there are all the identical blocks. Now, if you take a old school with just an old school 12 and put it up to a new school uh, 10 or 14, 10, 12, 10, 12, or 14, the blocks are not the same. This is called a short block 12 from Kohler. This is an early version of a Kohler block. If that make any sense. So this is an early Kohler design. Now I've been kicked off from half a dozen uh, forums trying to figure out what the heck was going on with this motor. Because I did not know you can adjust the ACR. The ACR is an automatic uh, compression release and I did not know you can adjust them on these Kohlers.
So, further ado, I've got access to it now. So this thing still has some work I need to do to it, but the last time I checked, it does run. Um, still got to fix the choke issue I got. So let's see if show current. Battery's been on a truck with charge. Let's see, turn on fuel. How did this sucker work? Okay. Choke is on. Contact. And let me explain something here. It's about eight, nine degrees right now, trying to cold start a cooler.
is I need a new carburetor for it. What it does run is the yeah, 8, 9 degree cold start. Why not? Then they're just chugging away. Yep, I still need a carburetor for it. I got to get a new, uh, another metal tank because I want to get rid of that plastic. But it all just depends. Uh, I'm going to have to make a new spark plug wire for it. If you guys can't see, can't tell, I need to get make a new one because I think that's what's causing some of that issue I'm having. Because it runs from there all the way back here, so the wire could be bad. Um, I got a new condenser. I know the points need to be. I need a new pair, new set of points for it. Carburetor, of course, like I said, needs a new carburetor. Cause I think the carburetor is junk on this motor. Charger circuit don't work. It only works when it wants to. So I have to take this checo charger. Let's see, take this checo trickle charger and put it back on my battery. And make sure it's over here. Yep. It should switch to green in about an hour or two. So we got to figure out why the charging circuit don't work correctly on it. So there's still a lot of stuff. We got to put the shield back over here to do the uh, speak English. Got to get the shield put back on. And then I got to fix the exhaust because I don't like the exhaust hanging that far out where it can get smacked by something. Probably just going to build the shorten this up, bring it, bring the muffler inside of the chassis. So it'll be right about here where the muffler sits. Because I don't, I don't like it looping over here. I mean, I would love to put it back to factory muffler here. It's only 50 bucks. But the problem is, is the heat from the hiss of the belt, unless I put a heat shield underneath to help keep the belt cool. That's probably what I'm going to do is put a heat shield underneath to keep the belt cool. And then I got a tracking issue. Now, how well the camera's going to see that. Yep, I got a tracking issue. The belt this gen is this way so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fix that tracking issue because that's eating the belt but other than that it runs so hopefully this beginning of the video helped you guys so yeah thumbs up the video subscribe if you guys want to donate to this project go ahead more willing to catch you guys later then peace out have fun hey guys appreciate the tip on getting this thing fixed but I have a slight problem uh, let me go get a light really quick uh, the bottom belt bottom springs you see well minus that piece is just fell off the top one uh, the bottom one came as exhaust valve on the 12 horse uh, it has a keeper retainer on the bottom and Nelson on top and these valves are extremely taut like you barely can squeeze them in and now the intake side you see the keeper felled and then the keeper for the bottom or oh it's in reverse let me spin that one around there you got this I, don't know, I guess is a key spring perch for the top and then you got your keeper on the bottom and then even this spring is taut now this is a 14 horse Kohler K series it's got that on the off side the spring is softer you guys can see probably how soft and it's got that intake the same way and the spring is soft too but here is where my question is why does that the 12 horse spring bigger than the 14 horse? We're talking probably a loop and a quarter 
uh, thicker or taller even on the intake side it's the same way now that's kind of strange when also like I said it's strange that this is missing parts on top of the exhaust valve now after we got that um, I'm not really too worried about the valve slop it's got a little bit of valve slop but it ain't too bad it's really noticeable when you lift the valve up but it's got a little but it's nothing like I'm worried about right now but what I am worried about let me see if I can get this camera to focus you see that shiny spot but it, I don't feel it when I rub my fingernail through it so I don't know but the valve seat looks good and the intake side does not have that issue so I'm just wondering if that valve those valve, those valve springs are too tight and cause the mayhem that I have going on in the block so I did see that these valves will not work they're too big so this is that K K14 I was talking about that pulled them. So, catch you guys later.